Inconsistent. Baby, I wanna do all the things your man won't do. <laughs> I'll do them for you. That's the same mouse from um, when we worked at a Royals. No, I got to update. Only reason why is because my kids lost this piece and it's annoying. The so I'm OCD like, I got to buy a new tank. mouse. It's only 20 bucks. Yeah. That's but I this like is. this version because it works perfectly fine. It's it's sturdy. So I'm like, I was, I'm going to buy this fancy mouse for 50 bucks. $20 mouse. This was $50, $60 once upon a time. Now it's like 20 bucks in Costco. I think I saw it on uh, in uh, Target the other day. Mad good. The only thing is, is that I thought it was the mouse that wouldn't connect. Because, you know, you've, you've experienced this yeah. mouse in that computer. But then I realized that I don't think it's the mouse. I think it's that computer. Because I put my, you saw my earbuds got connected. So when I go to the kitchen, I'm losing the computer. So when I do editing, I tried the headphones. I'm like, I can't go far with these. And it can't be the headphones because the headphones uh, are brand new. Yeah. Where that computer is old. nigga. I ran out. I ran out of fuel. That's what you get. You got a new controller for your game? I did. Again. You know the little clips that go up and down? Yeah. My daughter ripped them out. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it, it sounded like your daughter's an adult and she was pissed <laughs> off at you. <laughs> the way when I looked at it, all the plastic was broken off. It was like split out. I was like, yeah, it is garbage. Wow. So it is what it is. And then it's funny because I got another one. My wife is like, you should get stock in this company. <laughs> <laughs> we should have. We should have invested. Send the view here. We'll distribute it for yeah. a low, low fee of nine ninety nine. It's a great. I, I, today was the first time me using it. I was like, oh, yeah, this is good. It always feels good the first time, right? I actually got another hey, I got this Time one. out there, guys. It always feels good to get to the first time. Is that true for gay sex? It has to be. It's a Bluetooth one. Oh, shoot. That's the $100 one? No, hell no. I ain't paying $100. For no $69.99. Free. I think this was 40 bucks. Oh, Amazon too, right? I tried it once. Exactly. It works good. That's, that's the device? Yeah, that's it. That, there's nothing in there. It's just the device. Have you tried it out? Yep. Like it? Yep. Uh, I haven't tried it with Call of Duty, but I've been using it for Arc to see, just to get used to it. Oh, Arc would make a lot of sense. So because i want to start recording so i'm like okay i need i i almost i would i almost want to play arc now because of that <laughs> controller <laughs> well you could connect your you could connect your xbox controller to your phone oh you can right yeah <gasps> it should work just fine oh my god you just changed my life i'll play arc with you oh well, then let's do it i'll be stressed out and i'll be your wife like we did before so i was playing i just just to get back into the game like just to get used to it because i forgot so much stuff and I was like, let me join a server that only allows a very small amount of people. Because there's options. So there was one that only allowed eight. I was like, perfect. <coughs> eight stranger dangers. Eight, that's it. Maximum eight. Once eight people are in there, no more can enter. That either want to join you or kill you. Yeah. Okay. Um, every single person I ran to wanted to kill me. Even if I tried to be like, hey, we should join forces. You know, I don't know. <coughs> nope. Instantly attacking me. I'm like, bro. I forgot a lot of stuff in the game, but I'm still good. <laughs> You know what I mean? So they were still hitting me with freaking sticks and stones, and I had shotgun. I was like, I was like, bro, I'm trying to be peaceful here. What are you doing? You weren't going out with a fight, but without a fight, my mistake was when I was talking to him. There's a way to talk proximity, so if they're close to you, they can hear you, like real life. Yeah, and then there's another option for world chat, so everybody in the map can hear you. Oh, that's not real real life. When I said that, that's what we're when we were talking was on the world map. So all the guys that were way more advanced than me were like, there's somebody else here that's advanced. Let's get them. I lasted like two days and then they annihilated me. Oh, shit. I just came back in the game. Everything was gone. I was like, eh, it's all right. That was just a trial. It was a trial run. That was a, hey, girls, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I think I'm going to get a server and just open it up and then let whoever want to join it. And then I'll just be the guy. I'll be the, I'll just use that map to do my YouTube stuff. And, right. and there's a way to put God mode on it, and I'm the only one that can be God. So I'm like, you could, you'll never destroy me. <laughs> you guys do whatever you want. I watch. But from I'm using this. this for YouTube, you know, just to do my thing. 
Oh, and then you go check up on them. I, well, could, I could just walk into the base. They can't do nothing died. about me. They, they could be shooting me as an invincible. <laughs> like God, I'm like Superman. <laughs> you know. It's funny that you mentioned the whole. Uh, they instinctively wanted to, you know, you wanted a partnership, but they wanted to kill you instantly. And that's like the chimpanzee moral in, uh, moral instinct that we have, right? Yeah. Like that. Well, according to one episode, we didn't come from chimpanzees; we came from squirrels. But <laughs> um, so that that moral instinct. I was just listening to NPR at Radio Labs, right? What a liberal! Jeez. And they were talking about this moral dilemma. You know, the one about um, if you saw five guys on the train track and they all die, uh, but you had the opportunity to press a lever. And only kill oh, one guy. The trolley dilemma, whatever they call it. The trolley it. dilemma, yeah. yeah. Right. And it's then, like either the train's gonna kill the five or you could pull this lever and it could only kill one. Do you right. pull a lever? So back in the back, they were reviewing an older episode relating to that topic and they MRIs just came out. Like MRIs was something pretty new. So they did scans of people who asked the question and see what par- parts of the brains lit up. Anyways, and then they flipped the script and said, what about if you were in a tribe and um, the enemy is coming to kill you and the, then the group of people that you're with hiding, but you have your baby and the baby's making noise. Would you suffocate the baby to save the tribe that you're with, to the people the that you're crying. with, to stop the baby from crying so they don't find you? Because oh it actually happened in... Um, in the German, uh, the Holocaust, the Holocaust, right? And the woman actually, you know, suffocated her, her baby, baby to save That's the group crazy. of people. So they asked the same level of question. The same que- so first of all, everybody was like, "Yeah, press the lever." Uh, obviously, yeah. You save one, you know, you kill one guy, but you save four, it's or five. It's logic. It's all logic. And right, it's all logic. And and the same is true for the baby situation. You kill the baby logically. Logically, <laughs> we apparently have something against babies, <laughs> um, and most people were like, "No, never, no way." Because their so, emotions, they're like, "You can't kill a baby." So yeah, I was looking at yeah. the what parts of the brain activates, but this ongoing theory that our primal that these things weren't from this. Is, I'm literally paraphrasing the guy. It isn't from some guy who came out of a mountain with tablets. With instructions on God, what not to do. I like the tablets analogy because I thought about iPads and shit. You know what I mean? I was <laughs> He's like, like, Look, I was read like, all the rules. <laughs> read scrolling through. So uh, he was suggesting that it's in our primal instinct, a basic code of morale. To so, what? To save babies? Whatever it is that there's a, a, a because they did a study, you know, and they saw that the only people that were different were uh, monks. And psychopaths. I was gonna say psychopaths. <laughs> they think differently. Yeah. They think differently, and the reason why for the monks, and this is when I was already getting ready to record this stupid show. Um, they were like, uh, because the monks know how to disassociate their emotions. Yeah. From their logical thinking. Yeah, they're the Vulcans. They're fucking the Vulcans, bro. Exactly. They're the Vulcans. So. I bring that up because we also had to pose that question in our zombie episode. And we, first of all, we were going to eat the baby. Oh, well, I was going to eat well, the we did, shit. We did, we, did two, we did two scenarios. <laughs> well, first of all, we first time we killed everybody and we ate them because we, right, needed, the we nutrients. needed food. Right. The second time we decided, all right, we're going to keep her and the baby. <laughs> And we fell in love with the baby. Now we got to take care of the baby. <laughs> but we killed the mother or the mother died. <laughs> no, the mother was there. She was just doing her slave work. <laughs> <laughs> but the baby, she won our hearts. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the basement. This is exactly <laughs> what happens when you come down here. It's your fault. We blame you. Uh, but hey, what, what's, what's good with you? We've been doing a lot. Yeah. That was it to Joe Rogan. He's like at 2,000 episodes. That's crazy. Which is insane. I said to myself, wow, we keep this trend of doing two episodes a week. That's 52 times 2 is 104. We would have to do this for about 20 years. Yeah. To just catch up to him. But he also does, he does more than one episode a week. Sometimes he just does one. He's, and sometimes he does four. This yeah. nigga got the best job. Yeah. And they don't schedule. No. You just want to put it out there. Just put it out there. Oh, this guy want to come through? Uh, all right. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, just let's come in. Yeah, let's go hang out. 
Yeah. I was getting my Tesla, and it'll take me there. He has a Tesla, nigga. We all know. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he got. He says it. He loves it. Yeah. I, I would love it, too. He says as soon as you step on the gas, like, it's like a rocket ship. Oh, man. I can't wait to try one. I know. I never drove one. Me neither. We're too poor. I don't think I've ever drove in one. I've been in one. Many of them, actually. Oh, because you do the Uber? I do better than Uber. Way cheaper. Discounts off the yin-yang. Rebel. But sometimes you'll be waiting. Um, you know, it's perfect because they don't have as many as Uber. So, yeah. you know, it's like a 10, 15-minute wait. So when I'm in Costco's, I'm like, I, I'm on the I'm line. Paying. Here you go. Doo, doo, doo. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And by the time I get out, ooh, I'm out. It's perfect. 15 I bucks. I've ever said one. <coughs> yeah. Did you see... Uh, Toyota's new car? You have sat in one, and your comment was, they're like every other car, it makes squeaky noises, the plastic, not everything is aligned. No, no, I didn't sit in it. I was watching a YouTube video where the guy was touching things. And he was like pressing on the door. He's like, <laughs> he's like testing how fast. Like that cheap is. Mattel? <laughs> the fake Mattel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toys? No, but did you see the new Toyota, the Sentry? No. Nice. Minivan? No, Sentry. It's uh, it's like an SUV, but the back door is a sliding door like a minivan. They said it's like a luxury. It's like a luxury SUV. It's nice. The back door? The back the back door. Like an SUV, but it's a free... I mean, like a minivan, but it's an SUV. And You uh, mean the trunk door? No, the back seats. Just like a minivan. You just got two front doors and then the two side doors that, that slide back. Oh, okay. But, but it's, it's an SUV. SUV. How is that? I that to me is a minivan. That's a minivan, right? But no, but it, I don't know. I guess it's a, it's supposed to. They made it to compete with uh, the high end like uh, luxury vehicles. You know what I'm saying? So that way, people instead of getting a a luxury car, they'll get that because the whole backseat is set up for like luxury. You know, like a limo almost. I guess. Mm. I don't know, but they you know they always make cars like that, and but this one's pro- supposedly you can you can buy it. And then uh, you know who else made a nice car? A Toyota Prius. Bro, it looks so nice. The Not the Prius. Look at that it. Prius got some really bad slack yeah. for a hot minute. Well, that's because it's a because ugly Because it was an ugly, like, lesbo car. It's a lesbo Keep car. Keep talking to the strangers. All right. Hold on. I don't know. This mouse. Okay. What? What's the name of the car again? Oh, Toyota. <laughs> Toyota. Uh, Prius. I can't even see the what I'm typing in. It's the, the screen is so far away. It don't matter if it's a 55. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter how big this thing is. I can't even see the year on this thing. Is this it? Yeah, 2000. Oh, you got me another freaking Egg McMuffin. I got you a wibble. Look at that thing. That thing is nice, bro. That is that's your style. I can't my fat body, my pear shaped torso. Yo, that is a nice looking vehicle. I can totally get this car. And I'm not a f I'm not a fan of the Prius either, but Nobody is, bro. Yeah. At my job we got a few Priuses. I hate them. They're ugly. The interior is this center console in the Prius. There was like a hole down here in the bottom. It was such a weirdly like the way they did this whole middle console in the Prius was so like, what do you? Did you guys didn't think about functionality? Like a person that has to actually use the vehicle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like what's his purpose? Yeah, like why was he make it so weird? No, and like, remember the freaking bumper, the bumper, the back. Oh, what's this? Hello. Okay, okay. yeah, uh, okay. every car does that, even yeah. sedans. Yeah, but still, it's nice. <laughs> but yes, yeah, it's, it's, so this is what you're getting. Wait, what's the back of it? Oh, right here. Is it gonna be your first electric vehicle? The back of it. Remember the back of it. This right here was like see through, that you can see through it, on the Prius. They made the bumper like the trunk was like clear. It still has its overall design. Yeah, but they vastly improved on this thing. You're not showing the audience, by the way. You gotta press up. Uh, up. There she go. There we go, ladies. Look at him working. For those of you guys that actually watch. Uh, Toyota, if you want to sponsor us by sending us a new Prius. You should have Googled Don't it. give it to him. Give it to me. I need it. You don't need it. It's so, it's so funny because, look, you could tell it's a Toyota. Look how cheap the, the seats are, like, very cheap. You know what I mean? I feel like all cars are like that now. No, but you go to a nice luxury car. <laughs> <laughs> Toa. 
That's a nice looking car. I guess. Good job, Toyota. And what about the other one you were talking about? Oh. F- Toyota? The DK fake sedan minivan. Century. I mean, um, SUV minivan. Toma. Toyota Century. Look at that thing. Oh, Woo! the Century is huge. That thing is nice. Is this the one, though? Yeah, oh, SUV. No, no, but look, that, there's the, I don't think the... Uh, look at this thing. What the heck is that? That's the SUV? That shit look like a minivan, nigga. Show me the doors. That's a nice looking vehicle. That's a Toyota? There's no way that's a Toyota. That's that, That's not a Toyota. That's a nice looking car. The Century. The Century. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but we're in the wrong I don't track. know where you took us. Where are we right now, guys? Why? Why is it kind of How come I can't go back? Because you went to the you went too far into the past. Right to- there, look, Sentry with the sliding door pin there. It's literally right there. Right there. Ay, que linda. There she is. Is it an SUV or is it a van? That is a nice looking car, though. That is wild. That's a unique color. That's what all the bells and whistles. Look at this thing, though. That's a nice vehicle. What the fuck was that? That's your boy. Was that Discord? Let's check. I don't know. No, it wasn't Discord. All right. Well, we did it. We're here, guys. We're looking at cars. This is a guy show. This is literally our first guy show. This is a guy show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. This is nice. The back. Up until now, we were considered a gay show. <laughs> oh, look. You see how the, the back seat looks like the front seat, sort of? The way the setup is? With the middle console? Oh, my God. That looks like a Star Trek console. Yeah. Let's look at the back. Look at the trunk space. Okay. Mm-hmm. You could like fit somebody in the Yep. <laughs> we both thought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're borderline between monks and <laughs> psychopaths. Let's look at the dash. First of all, it's backwards. It should be on this side. That's number one. You made a mistake, Toyota. Yeah, wrong country. It's nice though. It's the entry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the entry? No. No, it's de- just they just cut, cut off. off yeah. <laughs> that is a nice. And color. you know what? That fits the entry because that back door, that entrance is uh, favorable. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's so many ways to get into that shit. This, uh, so they wanted to make it so the back seats are like a luxury ride. So, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like as a, as a celebrity, you're like I want the Century, please. Instead of getting a Navigator or whatever they drive into now. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. That's a big car. All right, let's talk about the future of cars. Here we go. We're here, guys. We're gonna talk about the future of cars. This is off the top. Let's go. So, <laughs> um, in in the very same episode, I was I was describing. Uh, the b- initial premise was this whole talk about AI. Oh, we gotta change the cameras. I don't know how to do this. Uh, left, right, yeah, down, down, hit down. No, you're talking. <laughs> you're talking. <laughs> this is me. This is you. This is both of us. Um, this, they were talking about. The they were talking about um, like going further with AI replacing, um, replacing human jobs. So the car, for example, you eliminate the car, and I didn't ex- I didn't think about this to the extent that they did. I sort of did because I always said that cars will be self driving, but eventually the function of the car wouldn't be. Uh, it would be a pod. I said yeah, it would be yeah. a singular pod that just takes you and it connects with other pods like a little choo choo train. Yeah. And I explained the wait, method. Wait, of, this is the future Mike is scared of, by the way. Right. Well, a you're lot not of gonna are. own the car anymore, Jose. No, you're and gonna you're get gonna in. be happy, extremely happy, just like Netflix, because you're gonna be doing this, the swiping thing that niggas be doing all day, yeah. in the car. In the car, yeah. But this guy was like, no, no, he's taking it a step further. And it's hot. Ta caliente, I nena. I want to see what kind of plant there was in this pot. Mm. So, uh, he was saying that instead of just so that car replaced that truck driver, for example, that used to go to the rest stop, and that little pool of rest stops that used to have jobs feeding and serving, you know, truck drivers along the route, those jobs are gone because the car self driving. Because of stop. just this one advancement in in, in technology, it's going to change profoundly yeah. way industries he, yeah industries he even goes further he was like yeah so like why have a gym when you could order a luxury gym car and you're doing your workouts while you're traveling yeah. to work that's dope yeah <laughs> it's like a little van you're just working out and it probably has an assistant in there and then probably has like instead of it being free weights it'll be on the track 
just in case something, you know, you're just in there. Oh my god, I'm falling! It just automatically picks it up. You're like, oh, thank god, okay. That's great. People would rather work out there. They'll get subscriptions. Oh, we can go so far into this. We could go so far. You could just get your basic subscription, which is drive back and forth. Yeah, I want you, a business. Dis- I want a desk. I want, a, I want I, an I, office. I, I actually want the luxury package, like, which includes the, the gym, the includes the masseuse. With my little TV. I want to lay back. I want just one that I could just sit down and relax and sleep. Those would be those would be standard, but like the customizable services, like massaging, gym. Yeah. What else are services we do outside? Uh, or, or, or women would do like nails at salons. Yeah, while your there. barber. Your yeah, barber. you get a haircut. Yeah. You schedule that all into your package. You want the premium, you want the luxury, yeah. you want the pro, you want the standard. So you get your basic subscription, and then if you want to add something every day, you just, you know, whatever, an extra $10, $5, depending on what you want. And you, th- but there'll still be buses <laughs> for the poor people. They pack them into one. <laughs> yeah, it's <that's> awesome. <laughs> and what you get is your standard yeah. screen oh, in front of you. That'll change flights and trains, bus industry. Yeah. Hell yeah. Over. Because think about it, if you could, uh, you know, whatever, a f- bus ticket is $50 to go here. If I pay 70 I could be in my own pod in a comfortable chair and I could watch movies instead of sitting on a bus with everybody else. I'd rather just pay the extra 70 Diseases and humans oh, and boogers. We fall. <laughs> Were you going to spit on the mic? It looked like you were about to spit on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so in my job, for example, right, I deal with servicing um Men. Lo- <laughs> Perfect time. <laughs> Individuals with long term disabilities, right? Yeah. So um in the AI perspective, so my the VP of the company was saying, Oh, we're getting new we're getting new EMR um software. EMH. Um well, that's just a little far away, but um and she's describing basically a software that technically we already have. We just don't use it the right way. That's funny. So I find that a, a, a lot across a, a different um, companies that they'll utilize uh, software, but they wouldn't know necessarily how to. Um, they wouldn't know necessarily how to. They don't use it to the fullest extent. They yeah. modify it to what they, they, they believe their needs are. But they don't really utilize it to the full extent. And I think that um, there's going to be a point in AI where we're going to leap into it automatically taking over. Like we're, we're applying it right now into different applications, but it's going to get to the point where at one point someone's going to figure out that this algorithm is it, it, there's going to be a, an advanced leap in, I think, um, in progress when it comes to AI that is really going to shake the the people's um, like, you know, we all talk about, oh, AI is going to take over when that actually happens. Shit's really going to hit the fan. Yeah. Shit's really going to hit the fan. Like you see these, you saw the the people rioting because of the migrants. You saw the January 6th because of the elections, like the AI one. Oh, shit. The AI revolution. And you know what? I think it's going to feel like the first year or so is going to feel like um, like COVID. It's going to be like this. It's going to be quiet. The vehicles are going to be like this. Yeah. That's your basic package. You know in there? Look how, big, look how much space this is though, right? You can easily fit a gym in there. A small little gym with just basic stuff. An office, maybe a desk. So you sit down, you get a desk. An office. You can do meetings on Zoom or whatever. Maybe... You have the chairs facing each other with desk. Oh, in the not middle. to mention that you can meetings. watch movies, you yeah. can do entertainment. Oh, that's All that's baked in there. The entertainment aspect, right? Yo. I'm with it. Again, this is the future Mike is scared of. <laughs> uh I don't know why Mike is scared of it because by the <laughs> time we Hello. by the time we see this in masses, we're seeing it already. But we're seeing it in little inklings. You saw the um you saw the NYPD security robot in the MTA? No, I have that up. You seen it? Type it up. Uh, MT. Oh. And there was an officer. So an officer is it's accompanied by an officer, or the officer accompanies. You know, it depends on how you word it. And uh, this is it right here. Oh my God, Jose! Imagine with a COVID mask on. Oh, perfect. <laughs> this is the future. Look at it, those MTA. handing out masks. There you go. So that's it. That's what follows the cop. I I think there's a guy in there. 
But you oh, know. for sure, <laughs> if, there's imagine, a guy in there. Yo, imagine the MTA showed this on the news, and people are like, "I think they're, I think they're trying to trick us." That's <laughs> I a dude. Don't know if this is. Oh, some shrimp, some shrimp scampi, right Where, there with Merrick Adams. I don't see Merrick Adams. Merrick Adams is right there, and then you see a bigger version. Where, well, you could just do, do. Yeah, there they are. That's the goofiest the, thing ever. It's basically like the sweeper thing in the hospitals. <laughs> yeah, I think it's goofy, bro. Supposedly, it doesn't do re- face recognition. It doesn't do. It, no, it does not have face recognition. But people are still, some people are still upset because they believe that it's um, it's just a, it's still recording invading privacy. Yeah, it, it and it's literally just a signature. But way. where do we get the idea that we have privacy when you step outside your fucking door? Where did that idea come from? There you go, the NJ Burkett. Who's this guy? Look at this goofy robot. That's um, it. Everybody, that's what's going to happen in, in the subway. People are just going to be standing and looking at it. Like, what is this goofy I can see thing? the kids kicking it over. Hey, we're going to put it on now. Somebody's going to walk over and push that button. Turn it off. Yeah, it right? connects. No. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's going to walk and just push the button. It has to connect to somebody to be there. This guy's a uh, joke, man. So, Oop. push, push for, for oh, bro, that's what it is. That, I just told you. Why else would oh, you have a button? It's there? a robot. Um. So, yeah. What was I just saying? Look at this nigga. Oh, he's gonna push it. He's trying. Oh, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's lightly tapping it. You know, some kid is gonna drop kick that. Oh, shit. yeah, yeah. Somebody's <laughs> gonna sit on top of it. There's gonna be homeless people climbing it. I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be again. We're getting a what little, a freaking joke. It again. We're getting little inklings of I what, know what I just did. We're getting a little. I don't know what, what happened. in the commercial <laughs> Reese's pieces. I just had to leave it because I was like, "What?" I <laughs> close that out. Hey, Star Trek, baby. Have you been Ooh, keeping up? I just watched an episode last night, so shut the fuck up. Have you watched Lower Decks? I have not. I'm bro. literally doing the first season of the Final Frontier. Oh, bro, you gotta watch Lower Decks. At least just I, I almost want to watch one episode with you. Mm, just no. one. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch. We it have today. to be on the we're sofa. Time. We're making time today, guys. We're making time. <laughs> um, I don't even know what this episode is about, but that's literally what the basement's about. It's literally this. It's just us eating these burnt little crackers. They're not. It's not burnt inside. That's where it counts. So you get a <sighs> crunch, and then you get the. What's the sound? Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but this is what. <laughs> so people take what somebody says and they make it into a big conspiracy, and what that guy Charles Schwab. The banker, whatever. yeah, he's basically saying you're not gonna own. Think about, uh, think about it. If somebody would have said that, whatever, 15 years ago, when they're talking about your CDs and your movies, you're not gonna own any of it, and you're gonna be happy. People are like, you're not taking my CDs. I got a whole wall. Of these. I brought a fucking rack. I spent a thousand dollars designed. on all these. Yeah, remember the racks and then the t- tall ones that you put exactly. next to your TVs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and now today we're like, yeah, take them, take them all. I want Netflix and you know, Hulu and whatever, you know. You can still buy the little car that rewinds the VCR, the v- VHS tapes. <laughs> yeah. You can still get that on eBay. Get but, them now. They're hot. But if people would have said that back then, we would have been, oh, my God, I can't believe he's trying to take away all of our stuff. And now they're saying, you know, when it comes to cars, it's going to be like that soon. You, you can own a car if you want. That'd be nice. But most people are not going to want it. Just like today, some people want DVDs. Most people don't want that crap. They want on stream. I want to be able to look it up real quick on my phone. You know when I knew it was over for CDs? I'm going to tell you exactly when I felt it was over for CDs. And it wasn't, I can't even remember the technology that was going to replace it. Obviously, it must have been something streaming, right? But CDs were over for me when they were like, get the Blu-ray version. What? I got to get a whole new system? I got to get a whole new VCR thingamajinging? For fucking Blu-ray? There was a point. I don't know if you remember. There was a point where they were like, is Blu-ray going to take over or is it going to be HD DVD or something like that? And I was pushing for HD DVD. I was like, I want that because I already have a DVD player. If Blu-ray takes over, we got to get a whole new system. Right. And that means we're going to need to get a Blu-ray TV. Uh So the reason why they want is because the PlayStation. Remember, PlayStation picked up Blu-ray. PlayStation picked up Blu-ray. PlayStation was like, you can play Blu-rays on our thing. And everybody was like, all right, Blu-ray wins. Blu-ray. Blu-ray. I forgot what it's what is it called? Blu-ray. 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 Blu-ray took over for what? Four years or something like that, and then it became obsolete. Blu-ray took 
See how he just walks away? It's insane. <laughs> this is a podcast, by the way. <laughs> this guy just walks away. He goes to the kitchen, uses the bathroom. <laughs> While we're talking, too. He's like, you keep talking. I got to pee. First of all, this is not a podcast. You're chilling in my basement. I don't know why you keep <laughs> coming here to my basement when I'm obviously trying to sleep and I don't have any lights because I can't afford electricity. Um... Blu-ray to me died when it came out. I was like, y'all wow. making this, y'all dividing this technology too much. Meanwhile, I think at that point, like, that's when like PC and niggas were freaking messing with files. And you're right, HD TV came out, it. so it was like, oh, it's coming automatically. The the high definition. As soon as streaming started, it was over. Do you remember getting? I don't know if you how, how long you had Netflix for, but do you remember ordering DVDs to come to your house in the mail? From Netflix? Yeah. In the red envelope? Yeah. Obviously, they were red. Yeah. Um, I do remember that. <laughs> we still have one. <laughs> <laughs> you dig it? You owe a lot of money. <laughs> the we late fees. still have one. <laughs> we never give it back. <laughs> we just have it. So, the late fees turned into what Amazon, for example, and other platforms have now. They have you can rent yeah. a movie, but there's no late fees because it's already timed. Oh, on, the, on the TV. So. On the yeah, streaming yeah, yeah. platform. So renting, the late fees turned into, oh, well, don't worry, technology will just turn it off and you can't see it anymore. So it's funny. So if, we're gonna, if we want to watch a movie, we'll just rent it. Whatever movie, let's say, whatever. Whatever new movie came out. King Kong or something. Mm, right? I was going to go with Barbie. Okay, Barbie. So Barbie, like, okay, Barbie's a good one. We'll just rent Barbie and watch it and be like, oh, that was a good movie, huh? But like Ninja Turtles, the one for the kids that they made, we had to buy it because we knew the kids are going to want to watch it over and over again. That's crazy. Yeah. But for, if it was for us, I'm not going to want to watch Barbie over and over again. You know, even if I wanted to watch it again, I'll wait for it to come out on something else in the future. I'm not worried about that. But my kids, if I rent Ninja Turtles and then the next day they're like, I want to watch it again. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm not going to rent it again. Do you watch rewatch movies? Do I rewatch movies? Sometimes. Yeah. Really? What, what would you say sometimes? <laughs> so the last movie I rewatched. Okay. Was the man from Earth? Remember we talked about it on a podcast about that guy that lived for a long time, and he was in history. Oh yes, that was such a good. Movie. After we talked about, it, I was like, I want to watch that movie again. So I was like, I you put know it, who was in that movie? I yes, put it we to said watch, this. and it flocks. <laughs> and Worf's brother, Kern. Oh my god! Okay, what, what were you so saying? Just I was like, like cooking, and I was like, I'm just gonna put it on, and I put it on. I was watching while I was cooking. My wife is like, What the hell are you watching? Because the whole movie is just people talking. Just in the room. people talking. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no action scenes. The whole set is just one. Your room. wife was like, This thing is watching no novella, <laughs> uh, soap opera. And I was telling my wife, I was like, This is kind of like a podcast. The way these guys are talking to each other. Mm, it is. <clears throat> and one guy's just telling a story. And he's trying to convince the other people. See, I wouldn't have used black podcast though. I would be like, it's definitely a soap opera because oh. shit is going down right now. So I do watch, I rewatch movies sometimes. Would you consider that movie sci-fi? Oh, that's good. What's the name of that fucking movie? Man from Earth, I think it was called. Man from Earth. Yeah. Well, let's let's give it the goog. Ooh, I like Man that phrasey. You just Earth. saved me from editing. Finally, this nigga's working. Toma, Ita. Toma, pa que trabaje. That's such a good movie. There he is. There goes Flox. The Floxinator. <laughs> Floxinator. The whole movie is just this. They're just in this They're bucket. like just talking. They go to the sofa. There goes Jesus right there. <laughs> there goes Jesus. 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 So Spoil spoiler alert. Oh, look, um, your boy. Him. Kern. That, isn't that also Candyman? Candyman, yeah. Yeah, underrated Good actor. I was about to say underrated actor. Underrated. Because wow, what is his name? I don't know. What's his name? Black. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Word associate. Black, black man. He's a black man. Let's find out. His name's right here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> it makes me uh, think about oh, the Tony Todd. Yep. Tony Todd. Now that I heard his name, I'm like, oh yeah, it is Tony Todd. The, the 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 website's not lying to me. What a great <laughs> fucking actor! My God, she's up there to me. But the race, the real racist answer would have been Samuel L. Jackson. Yo, this is so funny. <laughs> this is the entire cast of the movie. That's it. Because they even added the guys that show up just to move the stuff. Wow! Look, that nigga didn't even get a pay, uh, oh, paper. Oh yeah, this is probably just. Got paid a little extra money, like a hundred dollars to be in the film. Let me just, yeah. He's just like, I don't feel like acting anymore. I like, you know, I'm, I'm a plumber. Just leave my name. Yeah, 
movie but this man. is the whole movie moving man officer moving man one that's the entire cast you know they usually don't show the main cast and you gotta go further to find more people this, this was a whole movie. really we could, we could do this movie right now yeah see that's what I'm saying it's a great movie you seen that advertisement on top with the exorcist? Yeah. I'm on the train and they're advertising it mad hard. So I'm walking down the platform the first time I see it and I see one of the images of the little girl. I'm like, oh, she's so cute. But she's like screaming, but I didn't. it didn't register what I was looking at. It was just a little white girl screaming. I was like, oh, she has a little cute cheese girl. No, nah, that's nice. And then I'm looking at the other screen. I was like, oh, this is the exorcist. Actually. Hold <laughs> on a second. Mm-hmm. Yo, you know what's funny? I don't like movies like that. I find them boring. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah. Horror to me is comedy. I've said this yeah. too many times. The only time horror is horror to me is when they add the fuckery, the, the mind trips, yeah, the, the mind scenarios, trip, the, suspense. The, the suspense. The yeah. jump scares are like, come on, that's cheap. Cheap. That's, you yeah. got me. Maybe once you get me, but most of the time I'm like, I'm, I'm yeah. already seeing, hearing the music, the build up, but the random ones, the ones that with no build up, is like, God, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Got yeah, me. Give, me a, give me a storyline. Yeah, something if it that has I, I fuckery think about, in it, oh God, that's where great, yeah. you're, you're in a social dilemma or some kind of like, yeah, that's when I'm like, it's not that I'm like, ooh, boogeyman under my bed. It's more like, oh shit, what the fuck am yeah, I doing yeah, in this yeah. scenario? Am I going to, you know, like we were talking about, am I going to, so they changed the scenario. What about if it wasn't a, a, a lever? What about if it was you actually pushing the guy? Just a little nudge. You push pushed them the onto guy. the track, and then it, it it avoided the other ten people down the road. So if I push the guy on the track, somehow it stops the train from killing everybody else. Yeah, because the conductor hits the thing. You're like, Whoa! That guy oh fell my god! That, that guy just and fell then on the track. You're on the bridge, and like mm, I don't know what happened. Yeah, but you see the people down the road that the conductor doesn't see. That, that feels like murder smashed. compared to pulling the lever. Compared when I pull the lever, I feel like I'm saving people. When I'm pushing them, I feel like I'm killing someone. Right. So they, when they did the comparison between the baby and the whole thing, they were like, in this scenario, they went back to the train scenario, and it was, what about if it's a push? And they found the same um, ethical, yeah, emotional yeah. conflict of interest. Meanwhile, to push. I'm killing someone when I'm pulling that lever. You're still killing someone, exactly. You're still doing it, but there's a disconnect when it's something because I'm actually physically touching the guy compared to pushing a button. Yeah, the button was like, oh. It's you know so that reminds easy. me. You ever seen the experiment? This is like in the I don't know twenties or something like that, where they have, there's a guy and they're like, you just push this button to electrocute him. That's all you got to do. Bzz, bzz, bzz. So the guy's asking him, the doctor is telling the people, you know, electrocute him at a higher voltage. And when they push it, they can hear the guy screaming, ah! And they keep pushing and they keep increasing the The guy's screaming, please stop, stop! And they're like, the doctor's like, can you please push the button? You ever seen that experiment? No. What is it called? I forgot what it's called. We got to find it. But uh, most people. Push, they keep going and to the point where the guy stops screaming and they're like I think the guy's dead and they, but they're still listening to what the doctor they're following orders basically but they, they could hear the person yeah he's on speaker you can hear him screaming in the in the video <laughs> and they keep doing it he, I mean obviously they're not really electrocuting the guy's an actor but they're doing it to test to see if, how far the people go following orders and they use that experiment during World War II the trials when they would um when they were um, trying the, Ger- the Germans for killing the, the Jews. And they were like, we were just following orders. And they were like, this video proves that people can go to the point. Even that they're pushing the button. The guy's not making any more noise. He's done. He's dead, basically. And they're still fucking pressing And the doctor's it? like, can you please proceed with the experiment? And they're like, bzz, bzz. I, I, We got to find it. That's horrible. Yeah. Would you continue pressing it? Hell no. I mean, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, we say, yeah, well, I'll do it or I won't do it. But you never know until the moment. I doubt I'll do it. Would I mean, you, would you get ex- to the point where you reply to the doctor like the experiment is over? Well, that's what I'm saying. An experiment feels easier to be like, nah. But if you're in a war and they're like, if you don't kill that Jew, you're going to die. We're killing you. We're going to give it to you. Then you're like, I got to follow these orders. In the case of the baby in, in your arms that's crying, you know, in that scenario, you're obviously gonna try to shut the baby up by you know cuddling it. Oh, okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's not like you went right to the let's murder the baby, right? You made efforts to try oh, to. Oh, this is it right here. The Milgram experiment. Yep. The Milgram. If you if you're not gonna use the cameras respectfully, then get off it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, Milgram experiment. The Wikipedia. Milgram experiment. So E yeah. and T. And this is the guy L. that's getting electrocuted. So E is the doctor doing the testing. T is the person pressing the button, and L is the person getting tortured. He's a loser. He's a loser <laughs> for L. There's a, damn, there's a, there's a video too. Look, look, he even goes into ethics. 
just we were talking about oh this is the video the actual video of the freaking oh my god we don't want to see that audience doesn't want to see that they don't want to see that that and you have it you can one of the most famous studies we don't have to hear this either oh see look they just showed the nazi trials who was an actor don't say nothing was an actor. Best in a grey lab coat, played by an actor, not Mulgram himself. Two rooms Super in the Yale laboratory were used. One for the learner with an electric chair, and another for the teacher uh, and the experimenter they with an electric shock generator. YouTube? Are they the learner, Mr. Take Wallace, was strapped to a chair they? by electrodes. Nah. Fuck you, YouTube. Look, look, he seems stressing. He seems stressing. To him to learn. See, the teacher by? tests him by naming a word and then asking the learner, to recall its partner or pair from a list of four possible choices. He see, right there, he the seems like, yo, it's over, my dude. Yeah, yeah. We don't you want me to go back? He's, but look, 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 he's struggling. Look, look, he sits back down, though. Right? Because he's listening to the doctor with the and lab he, coat. Look, like, if you want to push this button, let's get this guy. This guy's freaking out over there. Refuse to administer Very shock. strong. The experimenter. Oh, this is, I think there's another experiment. The Stanford experiment. You ever seen that one? No. That's Jesus another ethical Christ. one. All right, let's not look at this. God, thing. oh lord! But the Stanford experiment's another one where they this uh, professor of whatever psychology, I guess, he grabbed a f handful of students and he split them in two groups. He's like, "All right, you guys are the police and you guys are the prisoners," and he put them in a like a facility for like a week or something like that. And that's all they did. You you guys, you know, as the cops, you guys. Oh my god, yeah. I saw this. It was like a special. Did I read this? I feel like you I probably read, read it. This. Yeah, because it's an experiment. And then eventually, it was so good. It's so fucked up. And yeah. these, spoiler alert, they sued these motherfuckers. Oh, afterwards. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, they got paid. So they uh, they basically were messing with the prisoners and torturing them and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And these are just kids, regular kids. Like they took us, they were like college interns yeah. that were looking for money and there was a bus that rolled up like we're doing this thing. Nigga signed up. All right, you guys get to be the guards and you guys get to be the inmates. And, and play your part and let's go. And it turned out that the fucking guards were... They were, dish, they were, un they were doing they all were kinds of crazy stuff. They were mad unethical yeah. because yeah. of power. Yeah, because of power. So this, this ties into another... A conspiracy that we don't have the time to talk about, but we will in a, in, in another a future episode of uh, something called MK Ultra, which is what the government was using to try to mind control people to learn what mind control is. And what was MK Ultra made out of? Like heroin or something? No, shit? no, no. That's just the name of the experiment. Oh, that was the that name. was like the overall umbrella term. Why for I thought it was a uh, well, uh, you know, because they did they use ecstasy and stuff like that. And the ex that's one of the parts I of I knew MK there were Ultra. drugs in there. Yeah, it had to be. Yo, there was another one where they were they the government. Um, went to a brothel like a whorehouse and they paid the prostitutes to drug the people that they were with and try to get secrets out of them see if it worked that that that, that happened so many times yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the course of history <laughs> I mean we could go back to like clunk 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 like dinosaur like we were cavemen and like yo get this nigga drunk and give me the fire yeah yeah give yeah give me a piece I of wood with fire. fire so that way I could be warm at night too so that's that's nothing. That's yeah, but they that was just like another part of the experiment. So there was a whole bunch of different, and one of them was, I don't remember what they did to him. I think they did drug him, and one of the kids from the college that grew up to become the Unabomber. And oh, shit. they were saying that he he was uh, he already had problems like mentally, but that experiment took him over the edge, and he became like a recluse. He wanted to hide in the woods, and he hated technology. He hated everything. And that, they said that was one of the things that really pushed them over the edge. A, a part of me is excited about the shit that we're going to be getting when it comes to technology. And another part of me is like, because we don't know how to act. We do, We obviously don't know how to act. Like yeah. if COVID and the way our government handled shit is is there's any like, mm, can we ever look at history about how our government handled shit that was fucked up? It would be COVID. It just happened. Yeah, yeah, it just happened, yeah. I can't. That's what worries me, is that the government won't know how to migrate to this new era of technology. Yeah, and then we seen the way people acted during COVID, where they were they were the the guards and people that didn't want to wear masks with the prisoners. Oh, shit. right, because they were like, "Yo, you got to wear your mask," you know. And remember on social media in person, they were like cursing at them. Bro, you know what I'm saying? They, they were, were really incentivizing. I was listening to Joe Rogan and some guy he just had on who's getting sued by the who's suing the federal government because of what they did with COVID, something like that. You yeah. heard of this nigga? Anyways, I don't know. He's suing the federal government. He's the same nigga that they got off of Twitter, but he got his account back. 
Oh, I heard about this guy. I don't remember. It's not, oh, it has to do with COVID. Yeah, the COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he was wrote, I saying? He wrote something. You did say COVID. But oh. he wrote something about COVID, and they were like, we got to take you off. And then he sued Twitter because what he said was true. And he got his account back before Elon brought it. Yeah. This is yeah. before. This is when the the, the that's people. I think that's one of the reasons why Elon bought it. He saw what was going on. He's like, yo, we got to do something. So, um, bro, they were incentivizing to go back to the point that draws us back to the conversation. <laughs> um, they were, Remember, they were incentivizing... Um, Oh, your dad died from a car accident? Well, if we put down COVID, yeah. you could qualify for the $9,000 so you could bury him. Uh, remember, we, we talked about this last week when it, when it had to do with the hospitals. The hospitals were getting money from the government if they had a lot of COVID cases. So they were like, yeah, we got mad COVID cases. You know what I mean? Nigga from Harlem got shot up but got $9,000 so they could bury yeah. his ass. Test, test, if you have COVID, he's dead. He test. got signed here. He got COVID when he died. Here's your $9,000. I'll take that. Thank you. He's already dead. We're going to do it Exactly. So that's a prime example of how mismanaged uh, our leaders are. Um, so the idea of losing mass jobs, mass jobs. And I don't, you know, you think about it as an increment of a, a slow change. COVID was in March. People were shelter at home. You know what I mean? With technology, it'll start. It'll be a burn, but it's not going to be as slow as I think people think. Yeah. Because companies are going to want to get rid of their workforce because you're not just eliminating salary. You're eliminating insurance, workers comp. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? If self-driving cars. Somebody makes $10 an hour. That, that person who's paying that person $10 an hour is really paying like $22 an hour. Yeah. With all the overhead that comes with having that one employee. So the companies are going to want to jump into They're not going to care. And the government doesn't have a say in how you run your company. Yeah. That's when the shit hit. That's literally the fan hitting yeah. the shit hitting the fan, rather. That's not even going into the advancements. You know what I'm saying? With AI. Because if, if you get to a point where AI was able to improve itself, it could improve the shit out of itself. You oh, know no. what I'm saying? Like, it'll just constantly be improving itself. It'll get faster. It's wiser. Hopefully, it's not. I mean, I don't see why. It would be malicious, but I don't think it'll be malicious on purpose. I think it'll be malicious by logic. It'll be like, yeah, kill the baby to save everybody else, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll just think logically. And for us, we're emotional, like, oh my God. But the AI is just like, yeah, you have to kill that baby. Right. But even in the experiment, even in these, uh, what I was listening to, <clears throat> I think that the takeaway in the scenario of the woman in the Holocaust, who supposed, you know, allegedly this happened, right? Look it up. Um, alleged. So even in that scenario, we, right now we're like, ooh. But so even even though we're emotional, I think that eventually it's still we still just like we still justify it, or at least it's distance enough. You know, like that, it's not so close. It's not close. <laughs> Every time I switch the camera, the, the YouTube video moves. Look at it. <laughs> Turn that shit off. Um. <laughs> This guy doesn't know. Um, so, in other words, it's like the analogy I'll use to try to describe what I'm saying is that the difference between pushing the guy and the lever. So, the AI will make the, the logical decision, but because the AI is like the lever and we're not the one actually doing the pushing, we'll allow it. We'll consort to it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's okay because it wasn't, it was the lever. I didn't actually push it. It was the AI. It and the AI mean. made the right choice, but I it was the AI that did it. But wow, that was a horrible choice. Oh, that was a sad choice. That was a there's the emotional part. But the part. robot's like, no. but the the, the, the robot's like it's safe, logic. But know. even us, we'll say it's logic too. And you know what? I didn't have to push him. The robot did it. Yeah. So we're gonna easily adapt to accepting those terms, easily. Let's do it without a without a problem. Let's uh let's go let the AI take over. I'm with it. Let's let the AI take over. Yeah, why not? <laughs> the basement. I don't think they take over. I think we just, we sit on our asses waiting for the next thing to come. Yeah, and, I mean, that's just like everything else. And we expect the government to sort out how we're supposed to live. It's going to happen slowly. You know what I'm saying? Right now we have chat GPT on the computer. You know what I'm saying? I have it on Google. You saw was, Google asking I was about to say, now it's, now it's on uh, Google. You, did you say we, yes? We already have, yeah, of course. Hell yeah. You I already started using it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now we have 
you know, hey Google or hey Siri on your phone or Alexa. That's such a good experiment, or not experiment, but um, showcase of how you know much easier our lives would be, right? Because if you go into the previous old episodes and read our bios, you'll tell it was us. Yeah, and you read our recent ones, and you immediately say the robots are helping them. Uh, <laughs> not them. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. That's a perfect example of it. And we're okay with it. We're going to be okay with it. What we're not going to be okay with. It's funny because I'm learning from the from the robot now. Oh, so you're right. So like I'm her? able to replicate it so much better. So now I'm like, oh, okay. I got that. So now I don't use it as much as I used to. Only, like I'll do it. Like I'll ask it to and help you'll me. S- just snippets. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just give me this one line. is good line. I'll take that line. But the rest of it, I kind of got it now, you know. Yeah, we're going to be totally okay with allowing AI ethically, morally, and emotionally into our lives. What we're not going to be okay with is the reallocation of goods and services on a system that's not trade for trade, right? So, and we're going to look to the government to deal with this situation and manage it when apparently they can't even keep the government open. It's about to be a shutdown again. So we're it's gonna lose parks so and library stuff. services because of these things. So why, if this is true, why aren't or maybe there they, there are people doing something about it? Anybody oh, saying but the, something? But that's that's a that's the government. That's a whole other topic because <clears throat> there's just mismanagement all around. Everybody's trying to get the mo- everybody's trying to get no. But if money you see it. a hurricane coming, what do you do? Hide. <laughs> and you smother the baby. <laughs> but you can't stop the hurricane. And that's what I'm saying. The, the government's just for us to stop. See well, what's the hurricane in your definition right there? What when you say hurricane? The government's the hurricane. The government's the hurricane. Yeah. You can't stop them. So to me, the coming future of AI is not scary as much as the human response to it is scary. Yeah, the government. Yeah. I'm talking about more specifically the government. Yeah, I'm the human the government. response is going to be like, nigga, we're going to be working out in that car. Yeah. I'm like, yo, come over for the podcast. What are you doing? I got to do my sets real quick. I'll be over there. I got a studio car. Let's get in the car and record. Oh, my. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to be with it. But but then when we sit down and say, I don't have a job anymore, so who's going to feed me? Yeah. Again, if the government does the right thing, we'll be good. It'll... I, the government should be able to to supply our needs if they're able to have industries that help the pay for the government. You know what I'm saying? In a capitalist system? Yeah. Explain that. So you charge them taxes. So right now, you, whatever, let's say they charge, uh, let's say they charge a company 7%. Who the fuck are you charging taxes to? To the businesses that make the money. What businesses? The ones that own the robots and the AI. Or the ones that grow the food or the ones that power the electricity, those companies. So instead of you saying, hey, you used to pay this amount of money because you have so many employees and your business tax was this. Now we're going to, since you have no employees, we're going to increase your business tax to, to take over that. Okay, what about a And we're going to take that money and we're going to allocate it to the universal, you know, financial for everybody gets paid, a paycheck. All the companies are going to feed into that and everybody gets a paycheck. But what if I my company is a multi-billion dollar company and I only have 15 employees? Yeah, we're going to charge the shit out of you. We're going to charge you just for the 15 employees. Uh, what, based on your system, if no, I'm understanding you correctly. You're not understanding me correctly. You're saying your labor force had 100 people, so you have to be comp, you have to compensate compensate according to the number of labor that you are no longer um, needing to provide. Well, but that's in the beginning phases. Because it, we have to, that's so a transition phase. You compare. compare um, but then eventually you're going to get to the point where you're going to be like, okay, every company, if you sell or market in the U.S., you have to pay this much tax, whatever the tax is. Based on your labor force or what you were Just if you were, if you do anything in the United States, you automatically got to pay That's the eventual thing. Eventually. But so, we got to transition your way out of it. So the one percenters will remain one percenters. There'll be very few people that actually own corporations. Yeah, like I'm fine Buffett, with that, okay. But they'll own majority of all the services. Yeah. You they, feel me? They're going to be their own countries eventually. Their own countries. Yeah. Think about it. If you have so much money, what do you need? why do I need America? I'll buy a, 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 a poor country and I'll put all my facilities there. But what's the point of money if... It's not money anymore. Now it's power. So there's no money. Yeah. that's what there's, Eventually money has to go away. There's no... So like in a little tray, there'll be some shit that comes out of the wall right there, you and put it your serves plate, your food. You, and then you push the button. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I eat my sustenance? That sounds delicious, by the yeah. way. 
because no, it would be, be like, like that. It'll just be like you get deliveries every day or whatever, whatever you want. Whether you're poor, rich, it doesn't matter because do the anything. government's gonna take. Eventually, the government's gonna take care of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no other way. Nobody's gonna work. So that, that's the only way. If the government stays the way it is while AI takes over and businesses have less employees, but they make more money, the world is gonna go to crap. Because again, there's gonna be we're gonna be nobody's gonna be working. Who's gonna buy this stuff? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you you have to transition your way into it. So it's either head first or not at all. Yeah. If you don't do it, I mean, again, you can have <laughs> you can have robots making stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you know, instead of paying people to make phones, let's say Android or whatever, you got people that work in the factory and you got automation. Eventually, you need less and less people, more and more automation, and you can sell the Android. Who's going to buy the phone? Nobody's working. We can't afford that phone now. So you have to have a transition period, whether that be, you know, whatever, 20 years, 25 years. And then you get to a point where it's like, all right, now in general, I don't care if your company's in Bolivia. If you sell in America, you have to pay, whatever, 70% tax on it or whatever you sell. And those taxes get reallocated to providing... It goes into the pot that feeds everybody in the country. Insurance? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess insurance. But it got to get to the point where there's no longer a need for insurance companies. <coughs> there has to... The whole system has to trans, trans, uh, change. Once AI gets part, once AI you know starts taking over more industries, the entire system has to right, change. Right, because you know workers' comp, insurance, yeah, all uh, that got to change. Everything. So think, yeah, it's it's that's what I mean that it, it'll be like. We're, right now, we're experiencing the initial sampling yeah. of of a point in time where it's gonna go. Oh shit, we got an issue, and then oh shit. Yeah. What did we do about it? So right now we're kind of seeing it with uh, with graphic designers and, and videography people because the AI knows how to do it good, but that's not a big industry, so nobody's really like, oh, that's oh, that's sad. <laughs> oh, poor you guys, but the writers. The, but when the the writers and the actors, oh, strike, that's so sad. That's sad for you. Yeah. But when it does, like you said, with the cars, that whole industry that's huge. A service. Uh, Once uh, the cars are automated right. and able to go, now everybody's gonna be like. <gasps> No, They're, because entertainment is a service too, but it's not a necessity to our. Yeah, it's not going to impact the the, society, the regular guy. Work no, like society. Yeah. it's essential to our way of life. Yeah, we whereas can, we don't have movies because niggas don't want to act. I even did though. There's enough shit from. The I'm gonna watch the Man from Earth again. Actually, thank you. Oh, I'm need your movie. Yeah, I could watch. I'll just reruns. ask. I'll just ask AI to write me a story. Yeah, tell me something interesting, AI. Yeah, and or, I'll, and I'll put it, make it read it to me. Like we did. Remember we read it. Read it to me, oh, and then no, you just sit back and relax. And you listen to the story. Like, oh, yeah, so it, it's it. Sh- AI, can you actually make it visual? I want to watch it now. It's when it takes over, and it's a trickle effect, right? Because we we said that earlier. That's what I said earlier when we're listening to our radio lab. It's a trickle effect of, you know, it's it it starts off as the self driving car, but now it's the self driving gym. Yeah, it's the self driving office. It's the self driving. But it's going to impact so many industries, regular people industries. That then people are going to be like, we got to pay attention now. And Andrew Yang is going to be and like, I told you. You don't know Andrew Yang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, know, I know who Andrew Yang is, but I was thinking about why would we want to even travel? At, if AI is going to be taking over shit, having the gym cars, like really for the bougie ass niggas, because where the fuck are you going? You're not going to work. Yeah. Well, maybe they want to go on vacation. I mean, they don't have to work from home, so they, I go wherever I want. I'm going to spend a few months on this part of the country or this other country yeah but the need for a gym car when you're just get, getting from point a to point b well if it's a long ride yeah it's again i mean a, a feature. Event, again like we said it's gonna start it's gonna take over airline industries because the guy might be like i could fly there in two hours but it's uncomfortable you know i gotta deal with this and checking in and tsa oh i could just take this car it'll take me a day but i could work out while i'm in there i could watch a movie i could have my meetings it doesn't interrupt my daily life i can still do what i would do normally without having to deal with that air traffic stuff yeah i'm just just saying that those services would be provided but also not as widely used because niggas are moving around Mm -hmm. because when you think about transportation you're thinking about what what's the purpose of transportation mainly to and fro but and the to and fro has to mainly do with what probably work or what else groceries groceries chores shit to do yeah not shit that you want to do. But again, automated cars going to flip that. Because wh- why would I go to the supermarket if a car can deliver it to Right. Me? So again, w- it, that's what I'm saying. It, it, 
it's going to be some shit. Yeah. It's <laughs> because be some even shit. cars wouldn't be as needed because all the things that you normally do. The only thing I could think of you needing a car is for leisure. Yeah. You know, I'm coming through. But then again, that's what I'm saying. You won't even own a car because you won't need it. No, right. And I, you're going to be happy. That that is insane because I take public transportation and I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very unhappy actually. The opposite of happy, that's what I'm in and when I'm on the train. Um <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. Do you do you think it, this might be a dumb question, but um you think it's gonna happen in our lifetime where the shit hits the fan? Because I could yeah. I'm picturing like January 6th type shit going on. That's what I'm picturing when it comes to the government. I, I think, I think, yeah. I think that it's going to be January 6th type shit where niggas going to be out there. It's going to be the only time that you see, um, you know how the these protesters about climate and fossil fuels and all that are like blocking sidewalks and stuff? Yeah, you're going to see a lot of that. It's going to be a lot of that. And but and we're going to be okay with it. A vast majority of us are going to be like, yeah, I got to go outside and stop the car robots from uh, bringing in the goods and starve my city out well, until the government does something about it. Well, think about it. We're like that now. We know. Oh, Mark my words on that, guys. We know that there's a, that whatever, the cars are making climate change or whatever, right? But we don't care. We're like, get out the way. I got to go to work. You ever seen the guy with the, he's on parole? He's on parole. He's like, I got to make it to the parole office. I'm going to go to jail. You got to get out of the way. And they get to the point where he's like trying to push him and they fight with him. And he's because he fought. And the that's cops it. Came. Automatic jail. He they, violated probation. I say he violated probation. So for two reasons now. <laughs> Technically. Yeah. But they're going to charge him with the, with the, 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 the not with the ladder. I'm trying to find the, the clip where he talks about it. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's the stuff that worries me, and I'm almost like, let it happen when I die. I think we'll see some of it. I think we will. I think I think we're going to see, We're gonna again, it's going to be one of those things where like, oh, it's happening, I can't wait, yay. And then something's going to happen, there's going to be protests, the government's going to do something stupid. I wish I could find it. but Yeah, I, I don't care to see it. Do I care for the technology? I like what we got so far. We're good right now. Yeah, we're doing good. We're, we're but okay. things are going to be better. No, no, leave it like this. Because when it gets better, that's when the shit, the fan shitting him part gets <laughs> to. And I don't want that part. I like what we got we're going on right now. You know what I mean? There's still jobs. All right. These niggas are still fighting. I'm okay with all of that. But don't do not do it. Yeah, anyway. Don't, don't do it, please. Um, That's the future of cars there. <laughs> 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 Wait, how, word how did we get here we started talking about killing babies and yeah. <laughs> cars in the future how is it uh, that the baby killing situation is a trigger for us to start this podcast um no. it's, it's one of those things where we we talk about it but when i really really think about it and having that baby in my arms damn son yeah there's no way that those individuals that have done it that lady, for example, there's no way she wasn't fucking affected over that. Forever. Forever. Every time there the must baby's be birthday tri- came by, she's like, I... Worse. She hears a baby crying in the... <gasps> and then somebody's in like, a, Shh. Like in the library or and on a plane. Like, somebody's like, shh, shh. Her, a plane. Like, oh. Shh. Don't tell the baby. Be quiet. That's what I had to do before I smothered it. Oh, my God. Especially in a social setting. She's in the train. Yeah. And the baby's crying or on a plane or... Unless she's a psychopath. And she's like, stop that baby from crying now. <laughs> she has or PTSD. a monk. She has PTSD. Oh, for sure. She's like, stop that baby from crying. There's no way that you don't have, you're not affected from some shit like that. Because yeah. when you think about it, you're like, again, we're outside the bubble. And we're like, yeah, I'm going to survive. These eight other people are going to survive. They did the right thing. Yes, you did. But then when you think about you being in that scenario, you're like, I'm just picturing, you know, covering the baby's mouth and the baby. I could, I wouldn't be able to look at the baby. No. I would have, I would look away and, and you would feel it squirming. squirming, trying to fight for air, and then dead weight. But it doesn't die. That I mean, <clears throat> people don't just die and stop moving. Even after they're dead, they start come because your brain starts to die and it's, it's like fighting for whatever. So you're like, you think the baby's gone. You're like, oh my God, it's gone. And it's just shaking. So you go tighter. Yeah. 
I don't know if you have watched people videos of people dying, but it's crazy. I've seen enough <laughs> that I don't want to see no more. I literally avoid all that <coughs> stuff. You know how Reddit has a not suitable for all audience, whatever, little yeah. hashtag, and I'm like, I'm going to read this little subtitle real quick. Because so what I usually do is go to comment and be like, right, what are people saying about this? Oh, that's smart. And they're like, don't open this. And I'm like, okay, thank God. Uh, seriously <laughs> yeah i gotta do that because <laughs> jesus christ i just don't want to expose my brain to this shit no more yeah um uh, i don't know i don't know so i mean i guess i guess i guess enjoy this interim in interim phase of robots and technology if you're on the subway and you see that stupid robot that looks like a fucking yeah. you know what it looks like the willy willy things the glade things with the <laughs> jelly inside of it. That's so funny. When you said Wella Wella, I thought about that song that goes Wella Wella. <laughs> you know what song that is? No. <laughs> I never heard that song. And we can't play it because copyright been there, huh? But uh, at one hour and seven seconds, seven minutes, we're going to put the glade jelly. <laughs> glade. <laughs> <laughs> jelly. Oh. Uh, and that's it brought yeah. to you by prius yes enjoy your new future car we out peace this is a song <laughs> what in the look at these niggas hit up Voila! open your mind look Amen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. They're like, oh, the choreographer. This was is like, choreographed. I was just thinking that. Uh, yeah, boy. Oh, shit. This is like menudo type dancing. It's the knee pads for me. Toma. Oh, que lindo. Hey. How old are these niggas, you think? Psst. These niggas got to be in their 50s at this point. No, right there in their video. Oh, they're probably the 20 young, young, young bucks. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> this is how I know you like men. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. What the fuck did this come Yo, what up, everybody? If you like what you saw, please click on some of the video links on the side. And please support our channel by liking, subscribing, and leave a little comment. And maybe we'll respond back to you. And hopefully, you'll be a guest on our next episode. <laughs> With family living in the lower deck I won't say names but I was lame and I was spewing disrespect Turn to God to disaffect That's worth to Trump Now let's inspect to interject On what the youngest spitting On spitting for where the sacred texts are given 